Howdy cowdies. How's it going? Hope you're good. Don't really care, but kind of, you know, at least it sounds like I do. It's weekly walkabout time. I got some cool stuff this week. It's bloke shed sale. Heaps of cool stuff. Nice little winner die casts. Little fold out rules are cool. The old AA radiator badge is cool. Really like the little um, sort of Prima, little Prima pack money bank there. There's a Cheshire cat on the side. I think it's from the Melbourne show or something like that in the 1970s. Nice little enameled badges and Cub Scout stuff. Some fantastic risque pinup girl slides and viewers and all sorts of gear in that little group lot. It's an old sort of um, about 1910 quack medicine machine. Some dinky toys. Some sort of good little sort of wind-up minix and stuff. Woolsley and other English car badges. Also we got some nice big sort of Chippendale style furniture. The corner cabinet there and the nice big chest of drawers. Some pretty cool, nice, another nice little 1920 secretaire there. Lead light, a little fold down sort of front door on it. He's pretty cool, the old World War II Tommy helmet that someone's painted up and put some cool decals and stuff on. Nice old fan. Nice old little crank handle sewing machine. Kind of like the old airflow fan, pedestal fan. Needs a little bit of mucking around on it. Nice bit though. No idea what this thing, I've kind of got a half idea. It's fantastic though, check this out. Really cool, we think. It's a food packaging machine. Fantastic. Coca-Cola mirror, old Commodore 64, putty pail and backpack. Pub and alia stuff there with a Bob Hawk bottle stopper. More pub and alia gear and some cool clothes, leather jackets and sort of bomber jackets and World War II Australian trench coats, Richmond Tigers, Hawaiian shirts, mating guitars, footy jumpers, AC DC shirts. There's some cool stuff there. Good wee box of sporting stuff. Some cool old comic books and stuff in the suitcase. They've also got religious statues and a print, big Northern Territory stubby. Lamps and mirrors and nice old Victorian writing box that needs a little bit of work. These are pretty cool old Wolseley car lamps and stuff. Sandblaster. Coca-Cola signs. Barrels. Reel-to-reel -reel tape players and stuff. That's what we got. That's a lot of Meccano in the green toolbox. Little Walkmans and things. Harley Davidson guards and exhaust pipes and stuff down the bottom there. Musical instruments, Thomas the Tank Engine train set. Some cool telephones and stuff. Little wall mounted one on top's pretty cool. Model kits and an old A Wing Star Wars fighter. Tools and blokey stuff. Some Harley Davidson sort of um, panniers. Lots of blokey stuff and magazines, motoring magazines. Signed Brisbane Lions Guernsey there from 2000. Good old plugger locket. Light up signs, some good pub and ale. Little Peter's refrigeration signs, a ripper. Little Qantas Astro is cool as well. So we've got more pub and ale here and more signs. Voltmeter, some old big M sort of milk bar displays. Australian pottery, nice big lot of oriental gear here. Nice opium pipe in amongst there. Little miniature Satsuma vase. Australian pottery, Vic Greenaway. Some more Australian pottery and other stuff there. Little Land Before Time is pretty cute. A little animation cell. Some nice old paintings. A group lot with the sort of pair of the deers over the back there. This big sort of snow scene there. A little one with cattle fording across the stream. All about a hundred years old. Nice decorative things. He's cute. A little sort of acoustic guitar. Made in South Africa. A bit different. Real sort of 1960s. A little Remington reproduction spelter of a Remington bronze. Pretty cool. SO Terps Tins Ripper. This is fantastic. Real 1930s sort of deco looking. Uh, dental nitrous oxide machine. <laughs> we had a bit of fun with this during the week. Beautiful big butterscotch bakelite handle on it. A little bottle and stuff on the back of it. Damn cool thing. The nice American whiskey mirrors. Kind of like the 1970s little low line sort of cupboard there. Some cool chairs, a little black tubular metal frames. The Tamaya Rookie Rabbit remote control car's all in there and it's complete. We've got a pretty cool sort of small sized clothes dryer there, clothes hanger. Pretty cool thing, like an old Hills hoist or something. This is a bit different as well. A little piano stool. It's got some unusual sort of adjustable little ratchety sort of things in the bottom of it there. It's a funny thing. I haven't seen much like that before. It's a bloody dingo skin. 
nice little Victorian loo table, something like that, with a nice sort of carved decoration on the base. Yeah, there's a nice the old photograph, tan-touched portrait photos, been reframed recently. Nice little Astor stereo there with a record player radio. There's a nice set of jugs. Lovely old scales and the weights. Nice clock. This is a pretty cool bit, this. Frame photograph of HMS Australia. Nice thing. It's got all the details lower right. Not that you can see them. Nice little plaque on the front of it here. The frame's been made out of the decking from the actual boat. There you go. Cool thing. Little Aboriginal painting there. All the details on the back of it. Oh, what else have we got? Nice little African mask. Fantastic neon corona beer sign. Ballarat Birdie. Crystal radio, oil bottles, a sphinx. Another nice little deco radio there for the little Mulgawood one. Some more cool old signage and stuff. Pub and Alia. Carpenters planes. More signage, more mirrors. Cool old headphones. They're like a sort of square shaped earpiece on them with the paperwork to go with them. The devil mask's pretty cool. Nice little box. 8mm air show films. Some nice old aeroplanes and stuff in amongst here. Some footy gear. More sort of motoring stuff. Some blot gents magazines. Pin up girl stuff. Didgeridoos. Fire extinguishers. Australia too. Pretty cool. Old map of Melbourne there for the Olympics. Got some great advertising on it. Old golden fleece. Broad vents. Really cool thing. Nice dome clock, some more KLG spark plug signs, nice big lot of cutlery and stuff. And a nice little group up with a deco clock. Lovely little um, pencil box there. Some cool old milk bar signage again, big M calendars. Some Qantas jumbo jets, some nice little Triang Minix. James Egan painting there and a group lot of sort of Aboriginal and other tribal stuff. What else have we got? Tuggy the tugboat. There he is, little novelty ashtray. He's fantastic. Anyone seen the South Park cartoon with Russell Crowe um, travelling around the world with Tuggy the tugboat beating people up? This is Tuggy. <laughs> Fantastic thing. A little white horse whiskey. Coat hanger's cool. Palaco shirt sign's pretty cool. Little BP Energol. Castrol tins. Fantastic, the big German beer stein. I <laughs> like the little Ventura bus. Sort of bus driver's lunchbox or rescue. It's a modern piece, but damn, it looks cool. Some old voltmetery things. Big Australian. Um, uh, it's a big sort of fold out. Um, big poster of a JU 88. All its sort of cutaway views and stuff, and how it's best to shoot one down. Some more sort of motoring signs. Big Victorian porcelain dinner set. Collection of keys. Nice, we've got little Griffiths Brothers tea tins. Nice up the top. Some cool little lanterns. This little one in the corner is fantastic. It's got all the different little thing at the top there, you can spin it around and it goes from a green lens to a red lens to a clear lens. Really cool little bit. Cowboy cuffs. Little um, quack medicine machine there, about 1900. That's some nice stuff in the end can. The Swan Lager um, beer clock. There's a nice little Danish ceramic candlesticks to go on the wall. Fantastic big Exide battery tin sign. Little flags are fantastic. And the Lord Mayor's Fund or something like that. World War One sort of money raising thing. There's a nice little Australian military um, cribbage board there and another nice little sweetheart box. The V for victory. Reproduction bronze boxes. A little Pro Heart book's cool. It's got an original Pro Heart inside the front cover. One of these little dragonflies. I'll try and show you quickly. There you go. Fantastic drawing. Pro Heart 1988. Cool thing. What else have we got? Nice original 1950s sort of pin-up girl photograph there. She's ace. Nice little set of scales. Lovely deco clock with a Catlin case. It's like American or early sort of plastic. His interesting little hygrometer thing or something like that over the back there. Lifesavers tin signs a ripper. Compass planes nice. Nice bits of signed glass. Little Japanese wood block. She's cute. And some nice bits at the top shelf. The golden fleece tin's nice. It's got some little added on little metal bits at the top and then down the bottom there. You think someone might have used it for a still? Well, that's what I would have done. Pretty cool. Little MCP skunk, little Disney skunk. She's nice, a little sort of African girl ashtray. Some nice Norwegian silver candlesticks. Reproduction bronze footballer. Congress tobacco signs a lovely bit. About 1900, give or take, in fantastic condition. This is interesting, little 
little Diana sort of lamp base, which is a little sweetheart piece. It's got a little RFF badge on the front of it there. Beautiful shell lamp, amazing carved decoration. Really like the sort of cast metal classical dolphin feet. Big Chinese white metal vase, all pierced. Nice little Wembley Bay cat ashtray. Yeah, there's heaps of cool stuff in the auction this week. These are actually good as well, the American Motors. Sales brochures, all ramblers and stuff like that. Boxing gloves, more pub and alia in gear. Kind of like them, the deco light switches. But anyway, guys, that'll bloody do. Hopefully you saw something you liked. Probably didn't. <laughs> See you on Thursday night.